Hello, welcome well, to another Figma review. This is Figma 133, Samus Aaron from uh, Metroid Other M, but I mean, really, doesn't really matter too much. It's an action figure of uh, Samus as a whole, so you know, I mean, obviously, it looks more like the Other M one, but you know, if you ignore the Other M bit, that's fine because I, I'm saying all this because I know Other M wasn't a really good game. I haven't played it myself, but that's what most people say, like some really bad reviews. Uh, I have never completed a uh, Metroid game. I, I I've played a little bit of or a bit of most of them, and I've uh, obviously used her in Smash Brothers. So yeah, I pretty much got her to expand my ma uh, my Smash Brothers roster. Because we, um, let's just do a quick checklist of Smash Brothers characters. Uh, Revolt Tech has uh, Snake, a, a version of Snake. Doesn't matter which version, really, I guess. But uh, I don't like Revolt Tech. They suck joints. Um, and uh, SF Figarts has, of course, Mario, Luigi, Yoshi coming out. Uh, you have Figma Link from Skyward Sword, and you have um, from the same company, Max Factory, that the Nendoroid uh, Wind Waker Link, to Toon Link. Uh, there is a uh, Figarts does have Mega Man. Uh, there are some Pac Man figures which are the same scale. I can't remember what company, not, not, uh, not any of these big figure companies. And there's also a Sonic figure somewhere as well. That's not well, articulated, but not as articulated so um but yeah the uh, whole uh, smash brothers thing is coming together slowly so anyway uh, open this up that's the top of the box bottom of the box is the same side oh. and other side posing the figure of course like i said the bottom is the same so just in case you didn't believe me uh back of the box is these as figma one three three down the flap so i put all the info sort of there uh, there we go. Five, four, three, two, one. If you want to take a closer look at the box art, uh, instruction manual, and photo shooter figure, please feel free to head over to the Facebook or flick a link in the video description below. As always, Figma has two boxes inside, like a paper, paper tray inside, which um, you can fold into some sort of make, uh, your own stage thing. But uh, do any people do that? Like, just punch this out and make your own stage? I don't think anybody does that. At least I, I haven't seen anyone do it. Uh, it's not even a good stage. Like it doesn't. You just fold the edges a little bit, but it doesn't go anywhere. So yeah, pointless. Although you can just have this and display the figure in this bit, which, which would be cool because you know, if you're not actually damaging it and whatever. You have the plastic tray here with um, well, not too much space. Actually, there's a lot of space wasted because all this stuff at the bottom can go right there. But they're going for the universal box size. So every single Figma figure I have, I've had bought so far has the exact same box size, which is useful for stacking your figures in your shelf or whatever. Uh, this one has a really tight tray when opening it, so do be careful or things might fly all over the place. Really tight. It's not as tight as the first time anymore. That's what she said. <laughs> Uh, right, so you have the figure there in the plastic -y sheet to protect it, of course. Uh, you have Samus in ball mode, Samus gun, like you can pull this bit out and stick this in, it opens up. Note that one of these panels actually uh, was, it came off uh, when I got it out of the packaging, which was annoying, so I super glued it back together. You have two, you got the multi, multi blast and one longer, bigger blast. You have Samus, like I said, in the ball mode. And then inside here, you have, of course, the standard Figma Ziploc bag, in case you want to chuck the box away or something. Yeah, standard Figma stage. Uh, a instruction manual in a little plastic bag or something. I don't know why they have to put it in a plastic bag, but whatever. I'm just going to take that out. So, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. So that's that. Stick that back in the plastic bag, and you have a hand holder with four extra hands. So uh, obviously, one hand, one of her hands, is always a cannon. So all of these are uh, left hands. You got uh, spray open hands, relax hands, item holding hand, and a thumbs up hand. So Kuga would be pleased. So I'll just get this out the box, out the box pack because no reason keeping it in there. And let's get the figure out. Just go in a little bit more detail in this in her ball form. Uh, there's no. Uh, my friend was actually asking me like, does she have the little bounce that she comes with? No. In fact, uh, oops, her, her sister account is pretty bare. 
Uh, similar to actually Figma Link, actually, he didn't have that many accessories. Actually, yeah, most Figma stuff don't have that many accessories, but from the most essential stuff, but whatever. Uh, she doesn't feel incomplete, I guess. But uh, this is the SH figure, so you know there'll be a lot more stuff going on. And uh, this one has a hole in there, just so you can plug in, this, plug in the stand as well, if you want this to be like not rolling about all over the place. And the hole is not too noticeable, which is good. Uh, the paint is just the same as the figure, metallic orange. Looks pretty good. The green looks a bit cheap though. Limey green. I don't like that too much. Hmm. Just put that to the side. Uh, the blasts are okay. Transparent, plasticky. And, um, you know, stick them in. They, they, they fit in both gun forms. So, that's fine. Oops. That came out too easily. That's what she said. Yeah. So we got those, and uh, the hands, the hand actually unplugs pretty easily, just a peg right there. And I'll just give her the thumbs up because, yeah. And this piece comes up very easily, but doesn't fall out on down, like it's just moved to come out. And this one, this one's not so smooth, like it, it's pretty tight in there. And I'm worried, even though I super glued one of these pieces, that they'll snap off again. And, after a while, you can't turn these as the little socket and plug has a you know a non-round shape. So we've got that going on. So yeah, let's uh, take a quick look at the articulation of the figure. I'm just gonna stick one of these one of her arms uh, gun socket things back in. So uh, her neck is very limited, there really isn't much room for it to go. In fact, when you turn it, it's almost turning on a sort of slant. So, uh, this is as far as it'll go. I'll look up, can't really, then look down a little bit. Up, down, up, down. Kind of annoying. Uh, torso has one, one joint there, so a little poor socket right there. So, full rotation, up, down, Kinda, there's like a tiny bit of sideways. You can move more sideways when uh, you turn her body because you know it's, her flat tummy is not blocking the way. Uh, shoulders a bit odd, like it's a separate connect connector from this big shoulder pad. Up, down, full rotation, and uh, yeah, this this one can move on its own pretty much. So the connection's weird, but it moves smoothly, so that's good. There's no, not really any fear of breaking it. Uh, same with the other hand, it got a double joint right there. Is that double joint or single joint? I think it's actually no, maybe a single joint. Uh, and then legs up, back, full rotation really. Bit of a rubbery plastic there to use to hide the joint. And actually it's really effective on this figure design. Oops, there goes the leg. You can see the rubbery, rubbery right there. Mm, whoops. Uh, double knee joint. There's a Figma joint that's always really noticeable, especially on the back, where they've got a joint that's supposed to bend, so it's kind of weird looking. Like there, she's got a big bump coming out. So it means it's just color black, it really stands out. Whereas Figma Link, it didn't stand out so much. Uh, watch out, these are pretty sharp, especially her feet as well, both the front and the back ones. These back ones are really sharp and they actually kind of hurt. But anyway, foot joint up, down. No rotation, it's just up down joint actually. Sideways, sideways. Hmm. Toe goes up a little bit, toe goes down. Bottom of her shoes. So can she ride or kick it? Yes she can. <laughs> Figma 133 Samus from Other M, Metroid Other M, is uh, very nicely sculpted and very nicely painted. The metallic really shines. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the paint is still the green, which um, I guess could have done with some metallic colouring. Maybe it looks good in the game, but as a plastic figurine, it's not very good. Um, that's my only gripe. And because the joints stand out like a sore thumb, uh, as you can see on the video and the photos, uh, the arm and leg joints just ugh. Also, can't help but feel like they could have done something to improve the neck joint. SH Figarts has uh, demonstrated many ways to uh, extend neck movement capabilities by adding little arm and hidden underneath the neck, which uh, Figma can really learn from. Um, 
SS3 count uh, does seem a little bit bare compared to SH figures again. It, there's just not a lot going on with this figure. Uh, if this was an SH figure release, really, she would have come with her bombs or something. Uh, she comes with the standard uh, SH, uh, Figma accessories, of course, like the stage and whatnot. And of course, compared to as you figure out again, the Figma stages plug into the figure, meaning that there's going to be a little hole on the back of them, a little butt area, and then you plug the stick in. Which, um, if you if you're a sucker for cosmetic and you're looking more accurate to the show, you don't want a hole on your figure. That looks just a bit weird. Uh, unfortunately, this is the case with all Figma figures. The stage is pretty solid and can hold up the figure pretty pretty well. Uh, however, uh, certain angles. The weight of the figure is a bit too much, and the weight of the ball uh, when it plugs in is also a bit too much if you extend the arm too far, so you have to watch out there. Fortunately, the figure can stand on its own uh, in a lot of different poses, so don't have to worry too much. Articulation is also pretty good, you can pull, pull Samus into very uh, striking poses quite easily, so that's pretty good. Uh, don't have to worry about the soft rubbery plastic on this figure because soft rubbery plastic means it won't last as long as hard plastic so there's something to watch out for on all Figma stuff. I noticed them on, on Link, on 4, on Cap, pretty much every single Figma figure has soft rubbery plastic so watch out for that. Still, uh, I got this for $100, 100 Hong Kong dollars cheaper uh, than the original price. I got this for 250 Hong Kong instead of 350 and uh, I wouldn't have got this for 350 It just doesn't seem worth that price. This feels more like a 200 really, so even 250 is pushing it. Uh, well, the figure does look nice and the articulation is pretty cool and it's a lot of fun to play with apart from the two sharp pointy bits on the shoes. Uh, the the play and fun factor is just not on par with uh, the more modern SH Figuarts release. This feels like similar to SH Figuart from a few years ago, where things seem a bit bare. But this one was only uh, this one wasn't released that long ago. In fact, this was released in In fact, this was released in 2010, so I guess that's a long time for toy manufacturing, but I haven't really seen Figma stuff really improve. So, oh, uh, I guess I'm going to pick up a future Figma line, uh, I'll probably see some more improvement, but uh, the Avengers stuff didn't, wasn't that really improved in this one, so, hmm. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below, and of course, take care, and have a nice day. Bye.